yeah good morning children welcome to my class in this session we are going to learn what is net force and how to draw the free body diagram let us discuss what is meant by net force net force is defined as the algebraic sum of all the forces that are acting on a body net force is the algebraic sum of all the forces that are acting on a body is called net force see here i mentioned algebraic sum means sign convention is very very important the forces that are acting along the positive x axis are taken as positive and the forces acting in the opposite direction means toward the negative x axis are taken negative at the same time the forces acting above the origin are taken as positive means towards the north side of y axis okay above the y axis are taken as positive and below the y axis are taken negative so net force is nothing but the algebraic sum of all the forces that are acting on a body is called net force if the net force is zero then it is called the forces are balanced if the net force is not equal to zero those forces are known as unbalanced so remember that above zero you have to take positive and below zero you have to take negative toward the right side of the x axis you have to take positive see this i am drawing the coordinate axis see this see this carefully see this see this is origin and towards right side of the origin you have to add the forces towards the left side of the origin you have to subtract the forces above the origin the forces are positive and below the origin the forces are negative okay are you clear about the problem now see that see that above the origin positive and below the origin negative towards the right side positive towards the left side negative let us discuss an example which is given in your textbook see this calculate the net force acting on a body here it is given in your textbook see this different different forces are acting on the body what is the net force observe this those two forces are acting towards the positive x axis so what you have to do you have to add the forces you have to add the forces next another force is acting towards the negative x axis observe this one. so first of all f net is equal to net force net force is equal sum of these two forces that are acting toward the positive x axis and subtract the force that is acting toward the negative x axis so how much what is the net force add that okay see this one 10 pl 8 plus 10 is 18 18 minus 12 how much 6 newtons force is acting the net force is 6 newtons so the body moves toward the right side as the force is not balanced means unbalanced force is acting so the body moves in the direction of the net force see the second example see this a force is acting in the downward direction an equal amount of force is acting in the upward direction so the forces acting above the origin are taken as positive below the origin are taken as negative so 10 newtons and minus 10 newtons 
10 newtons minus 10 newtons how much 0 newtons so the balanced force it is a balanced force the net force is 0 so the body is at rest are you clear now the body is at rest okay it is a balanced force here it is an unbalanced force so the body is moving in the direction of the net force are you clear okay now see that so the body always moves in the direction of the net force next let us learn what is meant by a free body diagram and how to draw the free body diagram what is a free body diagram and how to draw the free body diagram now a free body diagram is a diagram fbd simply you call it as fbd free body diagram is a diagram which shows all the forces that are acting on a body all the forces all the forces acting on a body is known as it is the visualization it is the visualization which shows all the forces that are acting on a body is known as what we call it free body diagram let us consider an example which is given in your textbook see this first write down the definition a diagram a diagram which shows which shows all the forces all the forces acting on a body acting on a body is called free body diagram is called free body diagram free body diagram now let us try to draw the free body diagram which is given in your textbook see this let us consider a car which is in motion a car is in motion so when the car is in motion in the sense engine force acts on it at the same time normal forces are also acts on it normal force which always remember normal force always acts against to the gravity gravitational pull so the weight of the car acts in the downward direction w is equal to mg mg is the gravitational pull or gravitational force it always acts in the downward direction next after the two tires are in contact with the road so normal forces are present two normal forces n1 and n2 are present they always act in the upward direction against to the gravity actually in your textbook in the diagram only two forces but four tires are there four normal forces are acting on it but for the sake of your understanding okay i am considering only the two normal forces next the car is moving towards the left side okay so that is the force of the engine force of the engine so as the car is in motion after this one the car is in motion so a frictional force acts and resists the motion of the car so the frictional force always acts opposite to the motion of the car motion of the car it always tries to oppose the motion of the car because as the car is in contact with the road surface are you clear about that so frictional force comes into play it always tries to oppose the motion of the car it always acts against the motion of the car are you clear about the direction of motion of the car now see this one now let us try to draw the coordinate axis to the car to the free body diagram see this one that is the y axis and it is x axis are you clear the point of intersection is the origin here toward the right side of origin you have to sum up the forces toward the left side the forces acting toward the left side you have to subtract and above zero you have to add the forces are you clear now see f net along x axis net force along x axis try to calculate the net force 
along x axis so what are the forces acting along x axis see this one one is the force of the engine another one is the frictional force frictional force so force of the engine observe this one force of the engine is acting towards the negative axis of x so force of engine is taken as negative and frictional force it always acts toward the positive x axis so f force of friction ff minus fe okay next force acting along y axis see this one three forces are acting two normal forces and one is the weight so weight of the car is always acting in the downward direction and normal forces are acting in the upward direction so you have to sum up those two forces n1 plus n2 and weight is acting in the downward direction so you have to subtract so net force along y axis is equal to n1 plus n2 minus w n1 plus n2 minus w are you clear about that one so the forces that are acting in the same direction you have to add toward the positive x axis you have to add above the origin to 